What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I just finished watching SmackDown, and I must say, it was so great to see fans back in attendance at a regular weekly show. I know we saw fans in attendance at WrestleMania, and that was fantastic, but, but to see it on SmackDown was so great, and what made it even better Shout out to everyone that was there in Houston tonight. They was at the Toyota Center. Y'all showed out. Y'all showed up and showed out. If you guys saw uh, SmackDown, you can actually see they were actually packed. They had people on the hard cam side, and they had people that weren't on the hard cam side. It was packed. Damn near all the way to the top. And I love that Houston showed up. I wish uh, me, Dub, and Trill Billy could have went, but we uh, actually ended up recording a live video today. So at the time, uh, the paper, well, the show was going on, so we really wasn't going to be able to make it. But next time SmackDown does come to Houston, we're definitely going to go check it out so we can meet up with some of you guys in person at the event because I know it will be dope. But the energy from the crowd, was so great you can tell everyone missed watching wrestling live it was so good houston showed out y'all y'all made me proud man all the houstonians that was there tonight y'all made me proud y'all showed out showed love very energetic made the show that much better man they started off the show very hot they had to i understand why they did that they started off the show very great with uh a tag team match between the Mysterios and Edge versus the Usos and Roman Reigns, man. And I thought that was a great way to start off the show because these individuals have been in the storylines for the past couple of weeks and it got people hyped. Seeing Roman Reigns come out there and hearing visible, it was some cheers, but there was a lot of booze. The, the heel heat that he he's he deserves not the heel he he was getting when he was a baby face this was the heel he he deserves it was so it was gratifying to hear the crowd just hate roman reigns but he was still getting some pretty good cheers because he's been obviously the best thing on wwe television and then to hear the pop edge got remind me reminded me of when he was ironically in houston when he came back at the royal rumble and he got the pop then. That's what it gave me. That pop was so great. People were loving to see Edge. This was a fantastic match, man. This I enjoy. I normally don't enjoy those six-man tags because I be thinking they're just kind of like filler matches. You know, not really that important. But I like this one in a sense because one, the crowd was back, so it made everything even better. And two. There's storylines between the Mysterios and Edge, Usos, and um, Roman Reigns. So it, it made sense, and it's just kind of a little preview to what's going to happen potentially at Money in the Bank, man. This match was great. When Roman Reigns started destroying Dominic, it was beautiful. The heat he was getting was fantastic, bro. When Edge was mounting some offense and Mysterios were mounting offense, the pops was crazy, bro. I was just loving this. I think the best part of this match was towards the end. Um, I want to say Edge hits Roman with a spear outside of the ring. Looked very brutal. And then uh, uh, I, I'm not sure if it was Jimmy or Jay. Uh, let me know in the, in, the, uh, in the comments down below. I know you guys will let me know. I'm not sure who made the pin because I was so, you know, amped and hyped about the spear. They got a quick uh, roll up. Like, uh, I believe one of them was using the tights on Rey Mysterio. Got the quick roll up, and then chaos ensued. So the heels end up winning the match, but chaos ensued. It starts beating them down with the chairs, uh, the Usos with the chair, uh, with some chair shots. And then Roman Reigns comes with the Superman punch. He breaks off the leg of one of the chairs, and you think he's going to apply uh, the same submission that Edge has been applying to the Usos these past couple of weeks on edge, but 
He hits Roman with a beautiful spear in the ring, and he puts him in the same submission he had him in at WrestleMania, and Roman tapped. Roman tapped out. It was beautiful. The crowd was loving it. Roman tapped. This was great. This was such a fantastic spot. Fantastic way to get people hyped up. Do I think they possibly could have put this put this at the end of the show? Yes, they possibly could have. But I think they wanted to start the show off as hot as possible. And they definitely did. And the last match, the Fatal 4-Way match, actually lived up. So it was actually pretty good that they kind of had the placement that they did have. Um, but yeah, I was enjoying this segment. Edge looking like a total beast his uh after the you know after the match promo he had you know he had a little interview backstage you know he's like yeah man you know even though i made roman tap like a bitch out there i was like oh yeah i'm loving this edginess loving the commentary like the 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 intensity with edge and his promos you know what i'm saying he's like i still gotta be i gotta go to that dark place to be roman because it's gonna be a tough battle and then seth rollins comes out of nowhere talking his trash they're building something with Seth. Obviously, I think Seth is going to get involved. I think Seth Rollins is going to get involved in that match between Roman and Edge. I'm not sure how they book it, but I don't think Edge is going to win. I think Seth is going to cost Edge the match. I think it's going to be a situation where Edge is actually about to win. Edge is actually going to beat Roman Reigns. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I think they're going to book it. Where it's going to be a close match. But Edge is actually going to look like he's about to win. And then Seth may cost him. Because I don't think Seth is going to win the money in the bank. But I think he's still going to somehow cost him the match. I, I believe. Or maybe something happens backstage at Money in the Bank. And they get into it. And I think Seth is going to cost him the match. And they're probably going to build up a Seth versus Edge at SummerSlam. Which I think that is a good program. A good match as well. But I do believe... Roman Reigns will retain, but it's going to be because of outside interference. It, it's going to be one of those situations where this will be the first time that we actually will see potentially Roman. Like, it looks like he's about to really lose this match. Like, it's it's over for him, and then something will happen. Well, I guess it wouldn't be the first time because it happened with Daniel Bryan because he was about to lose the match with uh against uh daniel bryan if you guys remember that when i believe edge was the the referee the special enforcer special guest referee roman was that was the only other time roman was it it looked like he was about to lose that match and i think this is what's gonna happen here so comment down below let me know do you guys think edge will win or do you guys think um roman will win due to interference i would like to get your th uh, thoughts and opinions on that so uh, that would be interesting and you know other matches in the show, they were cool. It was just good to have the crowd there to give their energy. I didn't really too much care for the other matches. The only other match I really did care for was the Fatal 4-Way. And they just put that match on just, just to put it on. I'm going to be honest with you. This match shouldn't have happened, but they put it on because these are some of the contenders for the money in the bank on the SmackDown side. So they put put this match on, um, and uh, it was it was entertaining. This Kevin Owens jumping off the top of the ladder to the announce table where Shin, uh, Shinsuke was laying. Brutal. Just brutal. And then Seth Rollins winning with the curb stomp to Big E on the ladder. Kind of giving him momentum into Money in the Bank. I thought it was cool. It was it was a very enjoyable match. And oh, I almost forgot one big thing. I'm, I'm actually glad that I remember this. There was another multiple moment on SmackDown. Finn Balor has returned. I like that. I think they're going to do him justice because he he was the man in NXT once again. I think they're going to do him justice here. And you know what? You know what? If there's anybody, if they build him, if they continue to build him, because he still has that intensity that he has from NXT. Hopefully, they keep booking him that way. But I do think that would be a nice opponent for Roman Reigns because... You can say, hey, I was the very first universal champion. The only reason why I had to give it up is because I got injured. So I would love to see that Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns 
for the Universal Championship, sign me the fuck up. So I think they may go with that down the road if they continue. I just need them to continue to book Finn Balor like he was in NXT. This guy that's here to, he's not here to make friends. He's here to hurt people and win championships. So I hope they do that. I think that would be great. So I'm glad they did bring Finn Balor to NXT, uh, to SmackDown. Thought that was dope. But overall, from the matches that I did see and the segments that I did see, this show was 10 times better because the crowd was there and they were excited this was an enjoyable go home show because we all know money in the bank it's gonna have crowd there and it's gonna be entertaining i'm looking forward to money in the bank this year because this will be the first pay-per-view outside of wrestlemania where we have people there and i'm looking forward to it because it's gonna be dope i, I think this is gonna be good so hey man i'm going to be live streaming this sunday gonna be doing my live stream re live stream reactions last time you guys showed up for hell in a cell y'all gotta show up for this one this one's gonna be dope so if y'all want to join me live on youtube man i will be streaming probably a few minutes before the actual pay-per-view start to get everybody in and we're just gonna sit back relax and enjoy the show together and it's gonna be great man so comment down below let me know if you guys enjoyed this smackdown did the crowd enhance this show even more me honestly in my honest opinion the crowd made this show that much better that much and more enjoyable because it just made it felt good to hear people cheer chant boo it just made it made it better you know what i'm saying wrestling is not wrestling without the crowds but i appreciate all the love and support road to 50k appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one Peace.